Just watch stuff. Watch stuff. Check them, guys. Check them. Check the tree. Heads up. Heads up. Josh. Woo! Matt, I'm so glad you found that before it got in your truck. Where did that one go? Right there, it's clear. Stuck. Is the batteries bad? Be careful. Be careful, dude. Be careful. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Gosh dang it, man. Holy crap. Whoa, did you get all that on film? Half of it. I got half of it on film. Okay, what's uh, what, is there any damage in here? Just the control board. Okay, guys. Hey, what do I smell? Uh, lithium battery blew up. That's the dangers of lithium iron, guys, versus lithium iron phosphate. Woo! 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 Just watch stuff. Watch stuff. Check them, guys. Check them. Check the tree. Heads up. Heads up. Woo. Matt, I'm so glad you found that before it got in your truck. Where did that one go? Right there. It's clear. Stuck. Okay guys, that was extremely crazy. Uh, this was a lithium battery pack, lithium ion cells, that uh, apparently short-circuited or were overcharged somehow. They were installed on this New Air fridge, which is also made by Alpacool, uh, Bodega. There's a lot of names for this fridge, and the battery goes in this compartment right here. Now my brother-in-law plugged it in after charging from solar and he heard a pop and smelt some flame. So he actually set it over here. He ran to come tell me, hey, this battery smells weird. And we heard an explosion and we came back and it was on fire in the back of his truck. We were trying to accept, you know, figure out how to get it out of the truck because we did not want it in the truck. So he ended up grabbing a water bottle and knocked it out to right here and then that's where uh, my video um, basically continues in of what was happening we saw initial fire flames coming out of the battery and I thought it'd just be uh, you know to show you some of the damage here uh, we do have damage to the truck and it could have easily started a forest fire we're here in Utah it's dry and we had fly you know flame balls going everywhere we had one of the major flame balls uh, land probably about 35 feet away over here. Jeff was with me when it happened. Um, let's show you this one. So anyway, lots of lots of debris here, all flaming hot when it landed. This is one of the bigger packs. Um, we're going to try to get what models these are, but these are lithium ion cells. Another. Um, yeah, here's another one. Uh, I love some the farthest one. The farthest one actually went all the way over here. It almost landed in these tents uh, while it was still on fire. And uh, uh, that's right, the remnants here. And 
remnants here. I can't really tell the cell though. Can yeah, you? no, it's not a full cell. It was just a full <laughs> flame ball. Yeah. I wonder if there's no um, so. Lithium material maybe. So that was at least 80 feet probably. We also had more down here into the dry debris, which is horrible. Could have easily started a forest fire, including this one here. Right there. And then also uh, one, we still have to find it. I saw one go down into this dry area. Okay, we found pump, another set. The bike pump right there, we didn't see that one. Here, melted the bike pump pump handle also burned some uh, brush here and then there's another cell down down there um, one of the most dangerous ones uh, it actually blew up and hit a tree which did catch on fire uh, my brother-in-law actually hit the tree with some clothes to put it out but it actually burned this section of the tree here you can see it's got dry I mean, this could have easily been a very dangerous situation. I think this is the leftover part of that. And this here. And this here. Oh, here's a whole cell. These uh, basically sound like gunshots. Uh, M80s going off. Um, they're all over. Um, looking at the... So we do have quite a bit of damage. It melted the upper part of the shell carpet got melted stuff over here there's black powder on everything um, this towel is destroyed lots of remnants unfortunately I mean I guess fortunately the fridge is still running um, you can hear it going this isn't this isn't debris this is melted carpet. Oh, okay so that's melted carpet that is melted carpet right there yeah it was on it was on fire in the truck so we do have damage to the solar panel that was sitting there. Um, damage to the truck, melted, plastic, and then this is just completely... I don't know. I mean, it's still kind of warm, but it's uh, we'll, we'll have to look at that. Um, I was standing over here, and uh, we did have many shots kind of shoot over. This one kind of bounced off. So lots of stuff over here. This was about the last piece that went flying right here. Yeah. Um, we do have, this This one was This quite, one kind of scared me a little bit. It was still on fire when it went over here. That was uh, both Matt and uh, my father-in-law Jeff were basically next to it when it really went off. <sighs> anyway, very crazy situation. Um, I, I don't know if every single battery is going to do this from this company, but it's definitely something that's not safe because we were, it was sitting in the shade charging with the solar panel that came with the brand of fridge. So it was everything, we were doing everything by the instructions and uh, it, it blew up. Anyway, these are the dangers of a lithium ion battery that is either charged improperly or it short circuits. Luckily you don't have this issue with lithium iron phosphate. I think the miracle is the fact that Matt as soon as that caught on fire right there on the carpet, he got it out. Because that's when it really started going off down here on the ground. That would have been a disaster inside the back of his truck.